Hi, this is Gina, and the focus of this Minute Clinic is going to be automatic or built-in needle threader that you might have on your sewing machine. These are common on a lot of today's newer machines, and some of them are a little bit more manual than others. Basically, what we have here is we pull down our needle threader, and we bring our thread across. and it's going to pull through a loop for us. And we can pull that loop and our needle is threaded. So there's a couple of little things that you'll want to pay attention to depending on the way your needle threader works. When we pull this down, we want to be sure that it swings all the way forward here so that the little hook that goes through the eye of the needle can come all the way forward and you'll be able to catch it with that thread. So we scoop our thread up underneath the hook and then it pulls that thread through for us. And you can see there the little loop. And then we can pull our loop through. Now, as I said, some of these threaders are a little bit more manual. Some have more steps, some less. But a couple of important things to remember is that you always want to have your needle in the most upright position possible so that your needle threader is lined up correctly. Sometimes if you've turned your hand needle and your needle is coming down, when you bring down that needle threader, it's gonna go to the side of the needle, which may bend it, and now it's no longer gonna work for you. So you wanna be sure that you have that needle in the full upright position before you bring your needle threader down. The other thing that's really important to remember is the size of our needle. So your needle thread will work on sizes from 7511 and up. So if you're working with a small needle like a 7010 or even as small as a 659, these needles are too small. The eye of the needle is too small for the hook to go through and the thread. So if we take a look over here, I've got a couple of pictures to show you. You can see here there's a very small hook that comes through the eye of the needle and it's going to grab the thread and then pull it through. And so if the eye of the needle is too small, the hook and the thread isn't going to fit through. And here's another picture here to give you a better view of what that actually looks like close up. So you can see there's a tiny little hook that goes through the eye of the needle that's going to pull that thread through for you. So needle threaders are a great tool. Um, to have on your machine. They make it really easy and convenient to get your needle threaded. If your machine doesn't have one, we have another option for you. And I'm going to try to bring my camera around to the side and show you. We do have a manual option. So with a manual needle threader, there's again that little tiny wire that's going to come through the eye of the needle. So our thread goes across and we slide the threader down and once it hits the eye of the needle, we can push through and you'll see it pushes that little loop through there for you and then you can pull that loop of thread and your needle is threaded. And there you go. So whether you have one built in or not, there is a way to get that needle threaded a little bit easier than trying to just poke it through there. This has been your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic.